Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix that crazy random thing that happens sometimes in the Divi Builder where the text editor uh, just acts weird and looks like a little HTMI box. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I was actually working on another tutorial when this happened. And you can see right here in the middle of my screen, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. You can see what's happening here. So there's this visual tab and that doesn't do anything. And then there's this text tab, which is like the HTML, right? But in the visual tab, it's not showing visual. Like normally I can just type text right here, right? So from time to time, you will encounter this in Divi. And I, I was planning on doing a tutorial on this, but I was never really able to replicate it. Um, it used to happen to me a lot, but it hasn't lately. So this is really funny that as I was thinking about doing a tutorial on this, it literally happened to me. So I'm like, I hopped on the record uh, just now, just un totally unplanned. So it, it's really simple. It's just cash. Um, that, that's really what it is. So I've had this happen in the past a lot um, and it, I was com I was so confused by it. I'd go to the Facebook groups, and, and you've done the same probably. You, you see all the posts in the Facebook groups, you know, with this screenshot. And the answer is always cash. Just just clear the cash. So I'm going to do it live for you here. So um, I was working on this page. Uh, I guess I'll try to save my draft here. But I'm going to clear the cash. And I have a separate tutorial on clearing cash, and I'll, I'll link to that one. But what I'm going to do... I'm on a Windows, so I'm going to do um, Control Shift R, and that's like a hard refresh. Control R would be a refresh, but then I'm going to do um, Control Shift R. All right, let's see if this will work. All right, let's take a look in this text module, and you can see that I cleared it, um, fixed it by clearing cache. This was live, you saw it happen live. I didn't edit anything. Um, and I noticed that I did it inside the builder. So sometimes you have to clear your cache while the builder is open. Sometimes to clear this, you may actually have to exit the builder, clear your cache, make sure everything's clear with that, and then open the builder again. And sometimes you have to do both where you actually have to clear the cache inside the builder. But again, you know, control shift R, if you were on um, a Mac, I think it's command shift R. And um, like I said, I promised the other tutorial. So it's over on the blog and on YouTube, it's just called how to clear your Divi website cache. And it's actually, um, first of all, it talks about what is cache. So there's browser cache, and then there's, there's the Divi cache, which is referred to as the static file generation. Then there's, you know, caching plugins, there's your um, your server, like a, a content delivery network. Um, there's actually even Wi-Fi cache, which or modem cache, which I talked about a little, I think. But anyway, this guide is helpful if you want to understand that more. All right. So anyway, I just jumped on here again to just show you that it's it's that simple to fix that problem. All right. Well, we have tutorials here, and we do it every Tuesday. Um, you know, something related to how to do something in Divi or, you know, related to this type of thing where we're solving problems. In fact, we have that blog post on how to fix issues and problems with Divi. I should add this one to that post. In fact, I have it linked here right at the beginning of this how to clear a cache post. So let's go to that one, how to fix Divi. And like I said, I believe I will add that to this. And I also have another one about um, your save has failed. I'm working on that one as well. So clear your cache. That's the first thing. Resave your permalinks. Check the system status. Update your PHP. Enable safe mode. Check for plugin conflicts. Check your browser extensions. <laughs> Change your hosting to something that's decent. Use the rollback feature. Contact support. All right. So anyway, that's just some things. How to fix Divi. That's gonna fix. That's gonna basically fix all your problems. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. You can subscribe. You'll get everything related to Divi every week. All right, we'll see you in the next video.